Fourth of July. It was a hot day. There was a barbecue. I was there. There was a man there with a pet pig. A three-legged pet pig. It was awfully cute, but, you know, my curiosity got to the best of me, and I said, what in the world happened to your pig? He said, well, you know, that's funny you ask that. He said, I've had that pig for ten years, and he's not just a pig. He is a heroic pig. He said, you know, a few years back, our house caught fire, and that damn pig, he ran upstairs. He dragged our seven-year-old little girl out of her bed, and he got her outside, and he saved her life from the fire. I said, wow. And so that's how he lost his leg, right? He, he got it burned in the fire. And he said, no, no, that won't happen. I said, well, what happened to him? He says, well, two years later, we got in a, in a big old wreck. Ten cars got in a big old wreck up there on that interstate. He said, and he pulled my grandchild out of the fire. He said, he drug her out of the fire. He climbed in there where nobody could go. And he got that little girl out and he saved her life. And I said, oh my goodness. So that's how he lost his leg. He like got cut, cut on the metal. And he goes, no, I don't want it either. He says, and then a couple years later, he says, we were camping in the woods. And this grizzly bear, he came out. He grabbed my wife. He grabbed Martha. And that pig, he just jumped in there. He fought that bear. He got my wife. And he pulled her out. I said, oh, and that's how he lost his leg, fighting with the grizzly bear, and he goes, no, that weren't it either. I said, well, you got to tell me. I said, you know, how did he lose his leg? And he goes, well, a good pig like that, you don't want to eat all at once. Oh.